Hey guys, Alex Moss here from Tactical Arbitrage. I want to talk about a new feature we've got. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's simple, but it actually uh, adds a lot. So particularly for those who've got replenishables in the saved list, but also for those people who want to uh, check out if prices have changed in the view data list. I know I'm being a bit enigmatic, but the feature is called Update All Data. So, um, what you can do, uh, you'll notice in the settings page that I'm on here, that I've got the, the cache set for five days. Now that seems like a long cache. I mean, prices shift, prices change in five days. If I wanted to, being an admin, I can even set it to forever. But um, now I'm just showing off. But I'm actually, the reason I show you that is because I'm actually thinking about unlocking forever to everybody so that they can utilize this update all button and uh, take advantage of that faster cache. What do I mean by faster cache? So if somebody has been there before you and searched that page uh, in the period of time that you set here, for example, five days, then uh, the data will already be cached within the system and therefore uh, present the information onto the view data page at significantly faster speeds. I mean, as, as many as uh, 20 to 50 items per second, it can uh, put that data on the view data page. So um, let's do something simple. Um, I was, I did actually try and do this video before, but I stuffed up, so that's why I have a page open already. Um, so we'll choose target. And let's target on the five day cache category. We'll just do, uh, I'll do a couple of pages. Uh, I'll do five pages. Um, now, actually that's only got uh, 45 products on this. So we're not going to get five pages out of that at 60 a page, but let's go somewhere else. So let's go, um, let's just go shop all baby. I'll see what we get out of that. Now, um, what I'll do on this, I, I wasn't going to put any filters on here, just so you can see the data and how it works. But I'm going to put, I'm going to put, show me if gross return on investment is at least one percent. So why one percent? One percent is not going to give us any profit, Alex. But the thing is, um, this data is up to five days old, and let's say, for instance, Target maybe had a sale. Uh, that's just started today, for example, but the sale wasn't on a few days ago. So the sale starts and you're like, oh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go search that category, but it's going to take ages because I need to set the cache for live and go through each item. And I guess I'll be racing the other people out there who want to be searching that as well. Well, now you can sort of shortcut it a bit. If you want to just put down in, in here, look at anything in the last um, five days, for example, using the five day cache, set the return on investment for like 1% and then I uh, hit submit and uh, it's going to, like I said, add products very quickly because somebody has been here before me in the last five days. Um, it's adding some stuff here. So it's obviously finding some things that fit the criteria and I'll pop on over to the view data page. UPC matches should be quite good. Sometimes with baby clothing, it's not, um, not perfect. And this one isn't doesn't have a UPC match. Um, I might just take the time here just to make this match here because uh, why not? You should always make matches when you can. It helps people, the whole community. So this is a tier three kids three in one body wash. Search title. Can I see it? Can I see it? No, I cannot. I might just um, search Google for the image. I don't actually see that product that's on Amazon. Uh, no, I'm not really seeing that product on Amazon, so I'm going to mark that as a mismatch to get it out of our list there. And uh, so I'm looking at um, products with a gross return on investment of over 1%. There's quite a few there. Some of them are clearly mismatches. 
Just to make things um, a little easier for us, I'm going to just pop on out of here anything which is not a green UPC match, rather than go through them all one by one and or marking them as mismatch or analyzing each one. And I'm just gonna, uh, that actually is a match, so I'm just gonna leave that there. Um, and I probably should have done a sales rank, a sales rank cleanup as well, but what I want to show you, and I might as well just get this started because I can talk about it while it's happening, is um, originally we had a button called um, Update Amazon Data. And it would go through and it would just update the prices. Now we changed that and enhanced it so it would not just update the Amazon price, uh, it would also update the Amazon, uh, the Amazon, it's hiding on me, new number of new sellers. And... Uh, and also the rank. So that's cool. So that one, uh, that one button was uh, updating all of the Amazon data. But um, it occurred to me that what's the good in updating all the Amazon data if the source product data is still old? So now you can also go in there and update the uh, update the source price data. So um, then it occurred to me that really one button to do all. There is reasons you might want to do each independently, but um, in this case, one update all data button and, and just systematically row by row, it's going to look and tell you whether or not there's any profit from a live point of view. So what you've done is you've very, very quickly looked at 300 products using cache and uh, you probably do a lot more sorting than what I just did then just to make sure you've got those key products that you're most interested in. And, uh, and it'll then turn around and it'll, it'll show us what's profitable and what's not based on today's prices. And you can also uh, stop the update at any point. Now, um, sometimes it does a few at once, so it's actually quite a bit quicker than this happening in the background and soon you'll see it probably update uh, several all in one hit. So, um, one thing that I'm noticing and I'm going to just stop this update. One thing I'm noticing is that uh, these are multi-pack items, I'm sure of it. This is a pack of six and it hasn't been registered in here as a pack of six. So uh, the edit quantity button, don't be afraid to use this. This is new as well. So now this is saved in here accurately as $10.74 for six items, matching six items here. Um, there's a 36% return on investment based on that, uh, but the sales rank's you know, kind of crazy. So we're not very interested in that sales rank. And so one by one, you can go in there and, uh, and modify those as well. So you've got the update all button there. Um, I'm gonna pop into the save list just to show you how it works in here as well. So you've saved some items in here, and uh, as you can see there, there was some stuff from Musician's Friend. It doesn't matter what store it's from, the Update All button now works for every single store. Um, and it'll go through and it'll tell you, alright, well this item is now $1,855 at Musician's Friend. And uh, the return on investment's negative four. It's also 196,000 in musical instruments. And the reason I popped these in was for a different example some other time. I'm not saying that this in any way is something that you would want to be, uh, want to be pursuing. Um, and you can see it is actually much faster um, than it showed you on the other page. <coughs> Alrighty, so it's updating all that data. Uh, we've got 3% here on this Minions Tumbling Stewart. This one here is actually a mismatch. I can go. This one here is actually a mismatch. I just put these things in here a while ago. Uh, I might stop stop this. You can mess around with this. You can stop something when it's going. You can pop into one of your other folders. Um, you know, I've got one item in here. I'm just going to update the, uh, the details on that item. So it's going to update the source price, it's going to update the buy price and the return on investment, how many sellers and what sales rank it is. And, uh, oh, it's telling us that this item is currently out of stock at Target right now. Um, hence the $0 price. What else do we have? Um... 
got a new property in this. Let's have a look here. So you've built up that replenishable list, for instance, over the past few months that you've had uh, tactical arbitrage. Now you can actually go in and uh, check and see if those items are still profitable. Previously, you would have to go and continue to do your research to see. So this Go Gaga Squeeze and Teeth Elephant Kiki, $12.99 at Target at the moment, um, and 22% return on investment. Before I go, I want to show you update advanced prices. Update adjusted prices. So this updates the price on this side. So let's say um, Target today for baby stuff is having 20% off. Well, these, these are both target baby stuff, otherwise I might want to move some stuff into some other folders. Um, and eventually we're going to make this line by line so you can just update it just a few key items. So we'll go update adjusted prices and we'll say the store price, let's say there's a sale on today for target for 25% off. Uh, and we hit update. I must have that hidden. All right, so we're just going to show that column. Okay, um, go into toys. Okay, so the adjusted price was adjusted by 25% for this for this sale, and now we can see that the gross return on the investment is 63%. Now you can check that this data is accurate. You can pop on into Target and see that it's $12.99, and I'm confident that it will be. And you can also pop on into Amazon and see that it's currently selling for $23.65. And I can see that it is. So um, that's actually a good rank. Um, if you can get this for a good rate uh, and they're not out of stock, um, you know, there, there's actually a product there with uh, a small amount of return on investment, more if you're using any cashback sites or, uh, or there is a coupon at the moment. Um, I haven't really looked into it. That was just a quick test. All right, so that's some of our new buttons. Um, update source price, update Amazon data, update all data, uh, and it'll happen at varying speeds per site. Um, Target tends to do a few things at once. Um, update adjusted prices is really cool. Uh, we didn't yet add a button for updating the adjusted price of uh, FBA calculator price, because um, if you go over here, you'll see that those adjusted prices um, are fairly standard. So let's say you've, you've put in there a cost per pound to ship to Amazon. Um, people have got a figure in their mind that might be 70 cents or something. And a uh, cost to create a prepper standard product, a cost to create a bundle. Those items there are fairly standard. So we haven't done an extra setting for that, but if there's demand for it, we can certainly add in an extra, uh, an extra button to update the adjusted prices for um, the Amazon side of things as well for the shipping and packing and, and prepping and all that kind of stuff. So I'm Alex and that is another feature uh, currently working with Tactical Arbitrage and I hope you enjoy it.